hello loves welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you guys with some ratty nails and the new kira sky jelly tips kit i got the coffin in extra long or coffin long kit and i wanted to come to you guys and do my nails um so i'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and take everything out of the box and show you what the kit comes with so i've already prepped my nails i did everything off camera i have my machine here which i used this is just my nail file that i got from amazon i used it to clean up my cuticles i filed my nails this is the kit right here this is the jelly tips these are the long tips um it comes with the step one which is the prep uh the step two which is the primer step three is the builder gel and the step four is the top coat so it comes with everything you see here and i think it's 109 or 110 dollars online so here are the tips these are the long tips and it's numbered um i will say that this is pretty flimsy like this just pops open like nothing like nothing so i don't know if i got something that's a little bit more defective whatever um so anyway you get the kiara sky beyond pro led lamp which is supposed to make it super easy to cure the nails when you do a set like this i'm um, just gonna go ahead and take this out of the package so the lamp alone is 29.99 i'm gonna go ahead and plug this up <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm going to do a polish color or if I'm gonna do glitter. So I'm still kind of debating. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. So this is just like a micro USB, old cell phone USB. Have plenty of those around my house. So I'm gonna set that aside and have it plugged in. And as you guys can see, oh, she is pretty powerful so this lamp runs for about 60 seconds now this is going to be a little awkward with when i do my nails i'm just gonna you know i know the angle is a little bit more awkward so i'm gonna go ahead and shift this like that so it's a little bit straighter the things that you will need is an electric file like so and this one i got on amazon i'll try to leave it linked down below um you're going to need uh the usually when you buy a nail file it comes with a preset of um uh, of little drills that you can use little drill heads that you can use and these are awesome they're very gentle i also purchased a small little cuticle drill bit which is circular and it's great for around the cuticles love this stuff i got two of them actually two different sizes i'm gonna set this aside all right so you're gonna need your cuticle pusher and cuticle cutters these i got from wish months ago months 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 ago but you can probably find these on amazon i'm gonna see if i could find this uh chrome duo chromey um rainbow set it's from born pretty store um and i definitely recommend having some grit files whether it's a 100 180 and then i have a buffer which will come in handy so i have those set aside and of course you're going to need your kit if you didn't have the kit i think you can go ahead and buy the builder and the tips and then just use whatever primers you have and stuff like that and i'm just going to clean my nails again just one swipe we're not going to rub we're just going to swipe downward and that removes any excess powder from when i was filing helps clean my hands too so i'm going to go ahead and use step one the prep take it all around try not to touch the skin if you do you'll feel it it burns a little bit so the prep helps dehydrate the nail and removes any excess oils and i got a nasty boo boo and this is from a press on okay you get nasty boo boo from a press on I swear. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see this gritty. Look at how ew. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to take the step two and it is the primer. Now I'm sure you guys have seen a million videos of this. So I'm going to go ahead and take the primer. It's supposed to help adhere everything to the nail. Ooh. I like to do my middle finger first. I am shaky y'all just going through it <laughs> and you just let this air dry in between steps and then you'll be ready for um, the builder part 
forgot to do. So as I'm prepping this, I actually already know my sizes <laughs> uh, a little bit because I went ahead earlier and was trying them on. And I'm actually a size zero in the thumbs. What I'm gonna do is um, my nail tip is actually a little bit more squared on the bottom. So I'm just gonna take a file and just kind of shape it to what my nail would my nail shape would be before I go and apply these. All right, so I'm gonna change my drill bit, drill bit pace <laughs> um, to this bad boy right here, which is a little Dremel, it's a little pointed. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this on low because these are gel tips. What I'm gonna do, and this is recommended, is take off the shine. Maybe just put this a little lower. I'll um, just buff out the shine where the nail is going to meet. Let me try it with this bad boy right here. So we're just doing white strokes here. Just to buff out the shine because you want the nail to stick. I know it sounds a little harsh right now, but whatever. All right. That's probably the most tedious, tedious task ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a paper towel and some alcohol and just wipe the insides of the nails. You just wanna remove any of the dust. You do not want any of that dust on your nails. I'm gonna go in with the step three, which is the builder gel right here. Um, so the builder gel is extremely thick. So what I start doing is swiping it from the top of the barrel and take it off the other side. You do not want too much product on this brush. Builder gel is extremely thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the thumb. Got a hair there. And I'm just gonna do a thin coat. Some people said that they like doing two coats of Builder Gel. Um, I <laughs> probably would not recommend two coats of Builder Gel. At least do it like the way that they instruct first and then tweak it the way to your liking. Now set that aside. I'm gonna clean off any excess product. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. I'll cure it for the full minute, um, just to be on the safe side. Take the nail and it's cleaned. And per instrucciones, you just take the builder gel again a thinner layer than you would on normally and you would just go ahead and apply that where your nail would be and then just you can leave a little pool right there at the end i saw some people doing it this way i don't know if that's too much builder gel we shall see all right so what most of the girls were doing was turning on the lamp and then applying Oh, this is so cool. Okay, we're flash carrying. <laughs> oh, it burns a little. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, this lamp makes it super easy to like just, you just have to maintain the same pressure on the hand like on the nail, on the hand, stupid. <laughs> I'm like literally turning my nail white. <laughs> Y'all don't see this, but. Um. And I have the nail polish behind the lamp because I don't want it to cure. I'm gonna leave it for the full minute, y'all. It always says to flash cure, but I'm gonna cure again in my bigger lamp when I'm done. Okay, so we got some spillage right there which i'm going to file down um 
wowzers holy titteries um she's stuck on okay okay all right wow she fits as you guys can see there is some spillage which we try to keep from but because it's not like all over the cuticle, I definitely can file that down using my little ball right here. Either way, we have to file the nail later. So now we're gonna do the same step on the pointer finger. Oh my God, I'm excited. This actually took like no time. You think about two minutes a nail. Nothing wrong with that. The builder is very thick. It's just like builder gel. Um, I would say it's a little, it's got a little less uh, thick viscosity, but it's it's pretty, pretty thick. And it's self-leveling like most builder gels are. I'm just gonna set this aside way in the back. I'm just gonna make sure I don't have any, anything on my cuticles. That'll cost lifting. Gonna go ahead and cure that. So, of course, this is my first time doing it. Got a little burning there. Whoop. She's powerful, this little lamp, huh? And that's what my nail looks like while it's curing. <laughs> she looks way better than these ashy ones do. Oh my god, I'm so impressed, though. I'm not even lying. We're just applying it and we're building up a nice little amount right there. And this is trial and error, y'all. Oh, guys, I'm scared. Oh my God, that's easy. And you hear me like kind of burping and stuff like that. I'm dealing with some GI stuff and we're trying, we're just not feeling the best. I hope to God this nail ain't crooked. I don't think I have to hold it after a good 20 seconds. Ooh -wee. look at that. Okay, she feels stuck on. I feel like the prep of the nails takes longer than actually doing this technique, which is great. <laughs> All right, so now, now I'm gonna see if I could show you guys. What I'm talking about. So you really get the hang of it. Like after like the second or third nail, you're like, oh, okay, I'm a pro, got this. Or so you think, or so I think. <laughs> so I'm just building up a little scoop of product right there on the base, like I've seen some girls do. All right, so now I'm gonna turn on the light. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I've been doing it. I hope this shows. So you start from the base and you build it up. You put the pressure on the nail so that it builds up less bubbles and you gotta keep the same pressure. Whoop. I almost caused me some bubbles, y'all. I moved funny. <laughs> and it's a little awkward at first. Meanwhile, of course, I'll give you guys an update if I get to fill them and stuff. I'll also give you guys an update on that. Um, I'll probably even like type up something in the description bar later on down the line when there's an update. You kind of have to like maneuver your hand but again i'm doing this under a camera which is awkward and this burns this burns Ooh oh yeah the builder's stuck already go figure <laughs> so the builder oozed out a lot more on this nail and i find that holding pressure right here on the tip of the nail right here and pushing on my finger helps just as good because some girls have been pushing it in the center i for me find that very very difficult it just makes it really hard um and i get a lot of air bubbles when i do that especially when i do it with glue on so go ahead and show you guys the thumb that had uh the build up here 
So that's why it's a little higher. So now I'm just going to go around the cuticles and thin that out just a little bit and clean it up so it looks flushed. Okay guys, so I'm gonna continue cleaning around the cuticles just like I did there, just to take out any of the leakage <laughs> from the gel. I'm gonna go ahead and buff the natural shine of the nails, not, not with this, but with just a sanding buffer or a file. And then I'm gonna do my uh, right hand, my dominant hand off camera, and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do a nail design. All right, okay. Look at these popping long nails. Yes. All right, my love, so I've done both hands and I must say, um, I'm very impressed. Um, I didn't do this finger. I wanted to show you guys exactly what I did. Um, I went ahead and filed all my fingers and I took out the numbers because I'm gonna keep my nails kind of clear in a sense. So what I did was I took um, my drill bit and I took the best little cuticle thingamajigger head ever. <laughs> this is just a cuticle bit. It's rounded, it's really cute. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my machine. And what I did was, of course, was clean around my cuticles and took out any excess um, gel that was coming out like I showed you guys in the prior clip. And what I'm gonna do here is there's a number right under there, hi Duke. And I'm oh, okay. He's over here just making noise and I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> Duke is in the house I don't know if you guys can see the number. I Don't know anyway, you know how nails have numbers on it, whatever. This is number five And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm a little shaky guys Like I said, I'm a little bit under the weather and I'm just gonna file it off like so All right, so now that my cuticles um, is cleaned up and I took out the number I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just use an older file that I have. This was a 180 grit. Um, it's just a little worn down, which I like for just kind of cleaning up the, or taking out the natural shine of the nail. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to file the nail lightly. Like I'm not even putting a lot of pressure. Like I'm literally not, literally not. And I'm just trying to buff out as much of the shine. And these are extremely curved, as you guys can see. The C curve on this is very tight. So I'm just kind of buffing around the sides. Not taking out any bulk, just removing the shine. Because I want the gels to stick. And you gotta do this for any step you do, especially when you um, are applying a gel polish on top. All right, now I'm gonna take my buffing block. This is my very well-loved buffing block. And you can use a brand new buffing block. I like using my older stuff when I wanna be more gentle on my nails. Because they're older, they're a little bit more worn. And I went ahead and filed the tip because it has that like one little like tab sticking out of it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and clean it out with some isopropyl. And I'm just using paper towels, guys, like very thin paper towels that don't carry any lint. And that's it, voila. I'm gonna clean under the nail to take out the dust. All right, guys, we're gonna do glitter today. We're just gonna do the glitter try to dust this as much as possible so I'm gonna actually use um, one of my nail lamps this is a really inexpensive nail lamp I'm gonna go ahead actually should I do nail by nail maybe I should do nail by nail um, so this one does 90 second 30 seconds or um, 60 seconds so it has the timers there she's my little grungy one she's not the best um, even though her wattage is decent. So I think I might just show you guys what I'm gonna do with just the Kiera Sky. And then I'm gonna finish off my hands and we're gonna come back to you guys. So for this step, I'm going to use the Builder Gel as well. I want to add a little bit of thickness to my nails because I type a lot. And we're gonna do glitter. And the glitter that we're gonna use is the Kiera Sky Sprinkle On Glitter in Ice Queen. And it's this beautiful opalescent pinky coral I'm about it 
I'm about it. I don't know why. I'm not really into pinks, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and do my thumbnail. Actually use this. Go ahead and use one side. I'm going to go ahead and do my thumbnail. Can you guys see that? And I'm just going to apply an even coat of Builder Gel. I want that added strength. And like I mentioned earlier, Builder Gel does level out. You do not need to re-dip the wand in there, like submerge it. You just take from the side of the bottle. Builder gel is a lot more stronger than regular gel. It's a lot thicker. And definitely has a different viscosity than regular gel. And it is self-leveling. And if you want to add it under, just gonna add a little tiny bit under here to help clean up where that number is. Now, before we cure this coat, I just wanted again to add a little bit of thickness. I'm gonna go ahead and add some glitter. I wanna do like a gradient glitter again. This is uh, so pretty. I don't even think I need that much. So I'm just gonna tap Now it doesn't have to be perfect, but this is the nail. Got a little glitter splat right there, which I kind of like that little imperfection there. All right, now I'm gonna cure it. Cure the cause. Oh my God, this is so dope. I hope you guys can see how that highlights. That looks so dope. So that's the nail. So I'm gonna go in now and I'm going to apply the step four. This is the toppy coat. And this one's a lot more thinner than the gel. Oh. Oh, wow, she is shiny. You ever have a top coat that's like, what? This is a shiny ass top coat. I was not expecting that. Like, the builder gel is pretty shiny. Apparently, Kira Sky was like, yeah, but no. <laughs> Wowzers, that is shiny. All right, in the lamp you go, baby. So this is a no wipe top coat. These are gorgeous. These look so freaking fun. Um, all right, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my nails. I'm gonna cure them all under my bigger lamp for 90 seconds after I cured them all because I like to double check. I feel like sometimes my nails don't cure all the way. I don't know if it's just chemistry or whatnot. Um, and <laughs> yeah, look at that, it's just so pretty. Does it look better with the white? Oh yeah, that is cute. I like simplistic glitter looks, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's see how these other nails come on. Out your nails and hands are ashy. My hands are ashy. Okay, my loves, this is the completed nails. They look amazing. I mean, look at that curve. Look at that tip, baby. I mean, these look Amazing. I'm super impressed with this Kiara Sky kit. Of course, the glitter that I used was Ice Queen. It is so beautiful. It definitely has some green iridescence to it. And you can see the pink under from the reflection there. I mean, I think these look amazing. Anyway, um, I don't sing clearly um anyway uh what i used to take care of the ashiness was my nail nation 3000 cuticle oil and this is in warm vanilla i love 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 her brand but i prefer of course gel polishes so anyway guys that is pretty much it for my uh tutorial my review a little bit of everything on the kiera sky jelly tip nails I am super impressed. I will, of course, update you guys. I'll leave a comment in this video if you're here like a couple weeks later. Um, or if I end up doing another video for a fill, I will definitely discuss 
how it long it lasted and all that good stuff and of course if it wasn't good y'all hear about it so anyway guys that's pretty much it for my uh review i love you guys so much let me know down below what you guys think i would love some input i know i haven't seen you guys in 365,000 years but i'm here i'm here i'm here i'm here so anyway guys that's pretty much it i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye